Hello friends. Rexus in intimacy and cataract is always challenging and we're all trying different ways to conquer this challenge. This film demonstrates one such technique called as the whirling technique. Typically, two-staged CCC currently produces the most predictable outcomes in majority of the intermittent cataracts. I'm using purely a dispersive OVD for intermittent cataracts, which is a slight change from the strategy which I used to use. After making the initial puncture, I'm using the Haldi Purkar forceps to make an initial small rexus of around 3 mm. As soon as I near completion, the thin flap of anterior capsule is slightly pulled away and then the flap is continued in a way so that we enlarge the size of the rexus. The trick here is to hold the capsule tear it a little bit long and then again leave it and again regrasp it this multiple episodes of folding and regrasping ensures us a better control over the way which we tear the anterior capsule it is definitely much more controlled and we can enlarge it to the appropriate size as we wish since we are circling around with a thin flap of capsule it is referred to as the whirling technique The obvious advantage with the technique is that we can control the tear in a better way because of the thin flap. So once we have a rexus of about 5 mm, we proceed to nucleus management. I'm performing a vertical chop using a sharp chopper. The phaco tip is buried in the nucleus and the nucleus is slightly pulled anteriorly and then my chopper scores vertically The final nuclear fragment is being emulsified. I'm implanting a single piece hydrophilic lens using the hydro implantation technique where the bag is kept inflated by the irrigating PSS coming from the cannula. The lens is gently dialed into the bag. The case is done. Thank you for watching. Hope this helps.